In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the ODBC to connect a Microsoft SQL Server. I have installed the Microsoft SQL 2012 on this computer and I have also created some databases. So one of those databases is for the testing purpose. I show you now. In this list of databases, you can see a database with the name test database. So the application we use to connect to database or to connect to the SQL Express is called the Open Database Connectivity or ODBC. In this search option, I will type ODBC. There are two versions of ODBC, 64-bit and 32-bit. So, you can select 32-bit if your SQL is 32-bit. If your SQL version, the one you have installed, is 64-bit, then you need to make sure you are selecting the 64-bit ODBC connection. The best practice is always run the ODBC as an administrator. So, when I run this as an administrator, I can see some connectivity options there the user dsn system dsn file dsn and some other so if i use the user dsn option the connectivity will be only for the specific user but if i use the system dsn option the connectivity will be for the system for this computer so whoever using this computer will be able to access the sql express after choosing that option i will hit add and from the list of these options i will select the sql server here i need to type the name of the database make sure you type the correct name of the database so in my case it's test database in the description you can type anything for the description i normally keep this option blank and in the server option because I have installed the SQL on my local computer, so I will type my computer name here. After typing my computer name, I will also type the backslash SQL Express. If you have installed SQL on a different computer, on the different network or the same network, you can either type the computer name or the IP address of that computer. For example, 192.168.10.10.10 backslash SQL Express. After typing the computer name, I will hit next. And now we have two types of authentication to authenticate the SQL connectivity. Windows authentication and the SQL authentication. I always choose the Windows authentication because whoever using this computer will be able to access the SQL. But if you want to choose the SQL authentication, then you need to make sure the login user showing here is, the, is also the user of that SQL Express. To make sure you can go to the SQL Express and the security tab and logins so these are the users for SQL logins so let's say I pick up one of the user there and you also need to make sure that the server roles and the user mapping all these options are perfect for the database connectivity for that specific user now going back to ODBC connection, I will, there is one more option there for client configuration. Sometime you are not able to connect to the SQL server. You also need to make sure what client configuration you have chosen. Named pipe and TCP IP. And you also need to make sure these protocols are enabled on the server computer or on the computer where you have installed the SQL Express. After choosing that, assuming that you have installed the SQL Server correctly, the firewall is configured correctly, 
and the TCP port is active and all the protocols are enabled and the services are also running on onto the SQL server computer. I will hit next and I will choose the database from these options of databases. So I will choose the test database and hit next. And in here, you can choose any language, but I will prefer the English language here. When I hit finish, it will ask me to test the data source. So when I click on to test data source, it will go and find if the database name I mentioned there actually exists or not. And you can see the test completed successfully. And now I hit OK, OK. And you can see under the system DSN, the test database is configured and connected successfully.